being a local pastor is that this is uh, one of the few times where we actually get to come together and see the entire body of Christ from all people all over the state and beyond. Um, and people I've seen, like people I went to high school with are here, people from college, every different season of life, we're all coming together again. It's such a beautiful thing. For us, it, this is like an oasis. It's a time to come and just receive. And for those of us in ministry who are pouring out all the time, just to come back, fill our tank up and hear new people, get a glimpse of what God is doing in the world bigger than what we see sometimes. And we get to go back to our ministries and our churches just kind of on fire for what he's doing. Him has impacted me in great ways because it has inspired me to serve locally and globally and wherever I am. Um, helping the poor through sponsorship of Compassion Children, uh, giving microloans through Kiva, you know, it all started here. When I first became a pastor a few years ago, maybe about seven years ago, this is the first thing I came to after being a pastor. And um, this is the first time I ever got a chance to, to listen to other great speakers to be poured into because I was young, I didn't know much, but I excited to learn. And uh, this gave us opportunities to learn more about God, to learn more about how to be a, a teacher, a preacher, a pastor, and how, how to love the way God loved. Just a lot of doubts, I would say, um, of my abilities and in my job and just wanting to be the best youth leader I can be. Um, sometimes I just have those negative thoughts running in my mind and so just getting that affirmation of like God is still here He's doing great things with these kids and he'll continue doing things for me It just gives me more hope and just more of a calling to keep going and to keep serving him I really had strong holds on me of the ways of the world like my use my uses of drugs and alcohol and people and places and and then there was no happiness to that, you know, and today is like so awesome because I was able to let go and let God to the end. And that's, that's where my, I am with God to the end. I just like more, I like grateful for these revivories because the power is here and the spirit of, of God is here, you know, and it's, it's a good place to be. I was struggling uh, with doubt, to be honest, uh, doubt about what God wants from me or for me. and. Since being here, it's just kind of confirmed I know where God wants me to be and, you know, I can't, I shouldn't be afraid anymore. Um, you know, I know for us in our marriage, we're, we're looking for ways to strengthen. Mm -hmm. And so we took a session where we focused on uh, our feelings. We talked about our feelings from uh, Jeff and uh, he shared, uh, you know, a few things that we didn't even think about or know of. Um, and it kind of made us think like, oh, you know what? I think this is something that's good for us to rest on and, you know, receive. Hymn Conference is one of the, the conferences I would come in my adolescence and my youth where God would continually speak that calling of being a, becoming a pastor one day. And I didn't see it at the time, but when I got older, I realized, oh my gosh, this is one of those times where God spoke to me so clearly and my calling uh, to be a pastor really kind of came out of my paying attention to all the times that God had been speaking that over my life. So <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Thanks, Hymn Conference. I brought a, a handful of my youth teens and in the middle of the worship, we were, you know, I was engaged and my eyes are closed and hands are raised and, and, and I just kind of like took a moment and I stopped and I looked around me and I'd say the, the entire left row of me, every one of my teens, and not even prompted from the stage. They were on their hands and knees, kind of just weeping and, and worshiping. And it was the first time I had seen that. This helps me keep going at my age. <laughs> this makes inspires me to continue on and grow in Christ and be transformed. Um, it's made me realize that I've been very closeted with my faith and I want it to be loud, I want it to be bold, and I want the world to see how much I love him and how impactful he can be to them as well. So it, it just makes me to it just makes me want to be louder for God. When I was a high schooler I came to this. And that was where I was able to build relationships not just with other people but with Jesus. Being able to like share that experience because, oh man, for people I've met like six years ago, they still remember a hymn conference and how we're just together. Oh man, just so cool. I don't know, it's definitely impacted my walk in terms of how much joy I have. And I've taken it from me attending the hymn conference to now I'm a youth pastor and I'm bringing kids to it because of the memories. I can take my kids who are like kind of in the small church and kind of show them the whole like, hey, there's other Christians out here, there's the exhibits, they're eating that up because they're like, wait, what? There's Jesus in business, there's Jesus 
colleges. It's, it's a good exposure to more than just what they see on like a normal weekly church thing.